Hello all and welcome back to another episode of my Totemless Amplified Hardcore Minecraft World. I'm Lark and I'll be your host today as usual. So not much has happened since the last episode where we fought and battled piglins and wither skeletons in order to get essentially beacons because beacons are the lifeblood of the minecrafting world. And so since I got the farm finished, I briefly afk a little bit, got a bunch of coal, a lot of bones, and a few skulls, at least two stacks of skulls in the very little time I was AFK. And so then I had a little bit of, of wither killing session, so I got 15 new beacons. And you can see that montage here. Now, I really need to find a better method of essentially obtaining some gravity blocks, so sand, gravel, concrete powders, etc. Because in this amplified world, trying to secure sand is not very easy because a lot of the sand forms on floating mountains and stuff, and it's just pretty easy to fall off or to just you only dig like a very small area and I was very fortunate to find the sand that I did in a large beach but I am going to resort to gravity block duping because I want to play the game my my own way and while some people might not like TNT duping or gravity block duping etc I find that it is a natural part of the game and that's what we're gonna do so I need to take this end portal and I need to mine it out to fit the overworld portion of it. And then I need to break some portal frames. So I will see you on the flip side. So I have been doing quite a bit of mining so far. And not really that big or much of an area. But I found some something special. So anyone knows that... Since the world generation change in Caves and Cliffs, part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, um, diamond, stone diamond ore is quite a rare exception. I've already had to find stone diamond ore once. I think I got four blocks out of it, but I just wanted to see how many four blocks I'm going to get out of here, because it's not in the middle of a chunk border, as you can see, or it's not on a chunk border, so it's kind of in the middle of a chunk, so... The chances of this being like a high value are rare, but I just wanted to see what we'll get. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Honestly, that is that is that is pretty a pretty cool achievement, getting eleven stone diamond ore from a single chunk. Like, so it generated a four vein, but then we also had a three vein attached or an eight vein with a three vein attached to it. So that's pretty cool. But I'm about finished mining, so I'm going to finish the rest of this, and I'm going to build the farm, and then I'll see you on the other side. So, we have completed the farm. So this is a farm from SciCraft, I believe it was from SciCraft, and so it is multi-purpose, so not only can you dupe gravity blocks with it through using the end portal, which you saw me, or I kind of gave a little video tutorial on how to break using red mushrooms, gravel, and bone meal, but this also allows me to AFK harvest obsidian from the end platform because every time something goes through the portal it generates a new i believe it's a five by five area of obsidian which you can hear the tnt explosions charging up the cobblestone generator at the very top which is a super compact cobblestone generator originally designed by il mango two um note blocks over here you can select which one does which and it also has a little drop shoot where you can set up it so that any watering traders that might spawn near you, if you're here, will all fall into the end as well. 
And so this is the first part because I just have to build the nether portion of it, or not the nether, the end portion of it. So let's hop on over to the end and see what that entails. So we have completed building the farm and I'm hoping I don't look at Enderman because this island over here has a bunch of Endermen on it. So we finished completing the end portion of the farm and so this is a concrete factory originally designed by the Glot Seraphi. I got it a long time ago from him and so it's probably changed a lot since then but I still love this tried and true uh, factory and so what it does is that it basically the duped sand uh, gravel or concrete powder will come in here with these blocks up right here, you can see the sand is illuminated. It's going to be collecting the gravity blocks as the raw input. But if I hit the note block behind me, these four blocks will go down by the sticky pistons you can see popping up right over my head in each location. And instead, they will fall down into the farm and they will be bounced around into a water stream and then compressed into a cube and then explodificated. The only challenge is, is that this schematic did not does not have a storage system with it, which is which is okay because I, I do love my own storage stuff. So that's something that I'm, I'm gonna have to work on before I can actually start this. Like I could easily put a single chest and hopper in there, but that's not gonna fill up, or it's not gonna take very long until it fills up. So at some point I gotta build storage, but it's probably not gonna be today because it's not just like I just need like one hopper. I need sixteen. Times three, times two, colors, two colors of concrete. Times three, then three each of colors. Times two for powder, then plus sand, gravel, and also tools as an obsidian farm as well. So yeah, anyway, I'll take a lot of stuff for it. Until then, we have to craft it. So let's see what crafting takes us. So yeah, it's, I need a lot. I need a lot of stuff for it. But until then, we gotta keep crafting. So let's see what the crafting takes us. So here you can see that I have worked on a blaze farm. In the meantime, I did this on a stream. Twitch.tv slash LarkTober if you are not already following. And so we just kind of like played around a little bit. I wanted to build a blaze farm a while ago, but it just never like worked time-wise. And so I was just like kind of needed something to do. And I was like, you know, I need to, let's just make this. And so I kind of freehanded this. And it wasn't the, the easiest thing to freehand, but it's not definitely not something complicated. So it just the, the, the blazes spawn. And then the lava pushes them into this channel into a centralized killing chamber and then you can just go down into the farm and kill them and then there's some poppers and stuff that collect them so not too complicated not too complicated and then this this exterior wall is actually something that we can eventually put some do some redemptions and whatnot put some blazes set in stone actually have this one reserved for one of our stream friends hippie rosie because she is the blaze queen and so she can have a centralized place for maybe maybe the king of them all i need to come over here and i need to work on making this tunnel oh i i every day i struggle with doors make this like tunnel all the way back to the exit of the nether or entrance in the nether S safe it's completely spawn proofed at the moment but we still have these little chambers and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep a too tall wall here and then I'll probably do something with um, either basalt or maybe red nether brick or something like that. And then I'll have soul torches or soul lanterns, my bad, lining it up just to make it look pretty good. And so let us see how it looks like in three, two, one. And here is how it turned out. So I combined bone blocks and red nether brick walls along with the soul lanterns into this kind of almost very nether it's basically like another tunnel another s what you'd expect to see in the, in the nether so i'm quite happy with how it turned out it was kind of um i wasn't sure like what i wanted to do or anything like that so i just kind of played around with it thought about it a little bit left the world a little bit and then came back and which is like i have a lot of bone blocks so that afk'd the nether or the wither skeleton farm because in order to make red nether bricks, because I really wanted to use red nether bricks, I had to build a smelter as shown here. So this super smelter is a 64 furnace array super smelter. It is originally designed by Shady J, 
Uh, Shady is someone that I have known and used some of their designs for probably over a year and a half, two years. I actually started watching them when they were doing a bit on storage and the storage tech, which actually got me into storage tech quite a bit. And this works perfectly for what I needed. So I need to build this so I could smelt the red nether bricks. And then I need, but in order to get this running, I needed to fill a double chest and every single furnace and 64 hoppers with coal. So I had to AFK the Wither Skeleton Farm, which is how I got the bone blocks. And so there you go. That's how you, we got to this point to needing, or to using the red nether brick walls and the bone blocks in the farm because I just have an exuberant amount of bone blocks. But I think that this is going to call it here because I'm about to prepare for the next set of minecrafting things we're going to be doing in this world, in the nether. And so I think, it, I don't know how long this episode is because I'm going to have to sit down and edit it eventually and figure it out. But I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a follow, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash lurktobird. Leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. So until next time, have a good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning. But until then, goodbye.